Well, you remember last week we showed you a host of unique gifts for Father's Day. But if you want to know what Dad really wants, here it is. In Dresden, Germany, a Honda riding mower made it into the Guinness Book of World Records. And I know you're asking, for what? Well, going from zero to 100 miles per hour in 6.29 seconds. A lawnmower. It's called the Honda Mean Machine, and yes, it does have a cutting blade. In fact, it could cut your average size lawn, well, in 6.29 seconds. <laughs> that is, of course, if the yard was very long and skinny. Now, the mower was driven by a professional stunt driver, so this is not one of those, hey, honey, watch this, kind of moments, okay, just to let you know. You know, this Tim Allen-style trend for more power in lawn equipment, I think it could actually help us with U.S. border security. I mean, we wouldn't need a, need a border wall at all if Honda could just build us a giant leaf blower that's strong enough to blow everyone back across the border. Huh? Hey, look, I know that idea is full of hot air, and I've already gotten a little long-winded on this story, so let's move on. Hey, if you've ever been caught speeding, and I know some of this audience has, what was your best excuse? Oh, I didn't see the sign, or I was going with the flow of traffic. Well, I want you to add one more to the list that I bet you've never thought of. I just ate hot wings. <laughs> Up in Canada last week, a young man got pulled over for speeding, running faster than a scalded dog, as they say here in Tennessee. Officers clocked about 105 miles an hour. Now, for those of you in Canada, that's 168.19 kilometers per hour, just so you can make the translation. The treacherous teen driver told the officer that he was driving so fast because he had eaten really, really hot chicken wings and things weren't going so well gastronomically. <laughs> he needed relief and he needed it fast. Well, according to the Royal Canadian Mounties, the 16-year-old was driving a Chevy Camaro, which I think is the perfect car for fast trips to the restroom, of course. The speedy teen got fined $727 for speeding and 150 bucks for driving without a supervising adult. Hmm. Now, Governor, wait a minute. Now, now, I'm no officer of the peace. That's for sure. But I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking maybe that young fellow wore the same outfit for the rest of the day would have been a nice reminder, never drive while under the influence of hot wings. Yeah, you know what, Keith? I thought you were gonna say that that kid thought if he had wings, he could fly. Well, then there's that, yeah. Well, summer is here, and it's the time for fellas to break out the sandals, the flip-flops, and the men's lace shorts. That's right, construction workers and lumberjacks on holiday. Men's lace shorts are this summer's fashion surprise. And can you believe it? They're even see-through. Now, the question for red-blooded American men to answer is this. Is this just a fad, or is it fabulous? Now, before this runs off the rails into some kind of sexual identity clothing discussion, let's just stick with fashion here. Perhaps comparing the men's lace summer shorts to other fashion trends, we'll just put it all in perspective. Let me give an inst for instance. For ladies who enjoy ping pong, there's this lovely outfit. And if you have some plastic wrap lying around the kitchen, you could step out in this number right here. But remember, poke breathing holes in it. <laughs> And finally, why not one-up the Middle Eastern burqa with a little fashion district color and modesty? No temptation eyes with this number on, that's for sure. And fellas, if you actually do go with the men's lace summer shorts, and I'm praying you don't, then remember to get this fashionable flower hat to top off the ensemble. <laughs> By the way, fertilizer is not included. Now we go to Dateline, Portage, Indiana, 20-year-old man, his name is Issa Amir Ishtawi. He allegedly broke into a mobile home and fired several shots inside and out before staging his getaway. But he forgot one thing, a getaway car. <laughs> so he did what everyone does these days. He called Uber or Lyft. You know, one of those getaway car sharing services. Well, the police caught the car and arrested Ishtawi on multiple charges, but it wasn't all bad news. No, police gave the driver a five-star rating for vehicle cleanliness and communication. But Ishtawi only got one star and a ride with the officers to jail. Now, next time he wants to shoot up a mobile home, he ought to try one of those electric scooter rentals. 
Of course, it'll probably be a long time before Mr. Istawi rides again. But on the plus side, he's going to get great cell service in prison. <laughs> Did you get that? Cell service. So, all of us are familiar with the idea of a doggy bag. That's to bring home the last bit of delicious food from a great restaurant. But things have gotten a little carried away in New York, and I mean literally. The New York subway has a clear rule that no person may bring any animal on or into any conveyance or facility unless enclosed in a container. Well, as you know, there's no one more willing to follow the rules than New Yorkers. <laughs> so creative dog owners have come up with their own doggy bags. Yep, in every size, shape, and color to make sure that they could bring their dog on the subway. <laughs> uh, well, I tell you. Uh, hey, Governor, nobody told me I had lines. Obviously, they didn't. <laughs> and after tonight, you won't again. <laughs> hey, Governor. Just read your cue, Trey. It's not that hard. Right there on the screen. I mean, like, right there. I was setting up for the next song. You know, Governor, my dog drives me crazy. He runs the door every time someone's there, but it's never for him. Hmm. That joke was much funnier earlier. Go ahead and finish the joke. I mean, if you're going to tell one, go ahead and get to the punchline. That's, that's the only joke? Well, I'm not sure how long New York Transit Authority is going to let this go on. But in the meantime, New Yorkers, we salute your creativity. Well, if you thought you'd get us to open yet another investigation on the President of their Congress, I'm sorry, but we've run out of time. But always remember, we read the news.